Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How's everything? How was your weekend, guys? How have you been? Let me see how many just got connected. Okay, so we got Campus Antonio, Enrique, and Claudia. But Claudia is like as a listener only. Okay, good. All right, guys. So we are going to start uh, with the class. I don't know, guys, if you are at home already or are you on the way home? Because I see all of you with the cameras off. That's why I'm saying that. Are you there, guys? In your houses? So we're going to give just a couple of more minutes, I guess we're going to get back there. All right, guys, as I said, uh, just because we got a lot of things to do, I am going to start with the development of the class. I guess you're just getting connected. Let me see for the ones who are just getting connected. Welcome to another video conference. All right, so let's start over. Um, Adi Beatriz. We got Adi here. All right, so she is not here yet. Mm, Ana Cristina. All right, so Ana is not here. Brian Aldair. Okay, so she's not here. Carlos Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, mister. All right, so Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Claudia Marcela. Is it Claudia here? Let me see. Oh, yeah, but she's just a listener. Mm. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Evelyn Karina. All right, so I think Evelyn is the one that is as a listener, but she's not here right now. Graciela Saray. <clears throat> okay, so Graciela is not here yet. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Irma del Tránsito. Irma, okay, so she's not here. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Juan Carlos, all right, so Juan Carlos is not here yet. Katia Maria. Katia, okay, so Katia is not here. Uh, Kenya Maricela. Kenya, all right, so not even Kenya as well. Good, let's move. Maritza Elizabeth. Hmm. 
Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay. Good. Then we got Pedro uh, Rigoberto. Okay, so he is not here. Rosalie Yvonne. Okay, so Rosalie is a listener. Okay, good. Uh, Susana Carolina. Susana. Ah, okay, good. So you're there. Perfect. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Teresa, I am interested there. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Uh, we are going to start with the contents that we are going to be discussing tonight. We got a lot of things to do. We got a lot of things to practice tonight, right? So we got a, an important topic to listen. Right, let me see. Da, 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 da. Listen to me. Not actually, Teresa, no la escuché. No sé si podría repetir otra vez, tal vez eh, si es problema del audio que tiene. Mm, no, apparently, yeah, you, you got problems with the audio, porque no se le escucha nada, Teresa. Es que no sé si funciona el micrófono, pero estoy echando. Ok, no problem, yeah. All right, no problem, I know you're there. Ok, cool, no problem, Teresa. Let me see, it says Brian, estaré en audiencia, perfecto. Ok, Brian, thank you for letting me know that. Right, so you're still at work. Ahorita no es, no agrego al attendance list. Hmm. Okay, good. Just to start, guys, uh, give me a second. I'm sorry, teacher, I'm still listening to the job. Susana. Okay, Susana. And uh, Adi and uh, Cristina are there as well, uh, Susana. Están también eh, bastante ocupadas ellas. Okay, I guess, yeah, I mean, they're still full of work, I guess. Okay, good. So let's just start with the class, guys, for the ones who are at home and for the ones who don't have, you know, like a lot of things to do tonight, try to turn on your cameras, guys, because it's like, it's like weird just to have one student with the camera on and the rest is off. Siento que estoy hablando conmigo mismo y eso no me gusta. To talk to myself. I feel uncomfortable to be talking to myself. So, man. So, try to turn on your camera. So, lo menos para saber que están ahí, okay? Um, just to start, guys, uh, let's bring up a little bit about what we were doing the previous class, right? So we were doing a series of activities, uh, last class that I would like to bring up tonight, right? Just to start with the class. están con mucho trabajo porque tenemos visita. Jefe de España. Oh, you got your own post from Spain? Okay, Susana. Ahora entiendo por qué no se han conectado entonces. Thank you for letting me know, okay? Gracias por haberme lo dicho. Okay, guys, what was the last topic that we were discussing on Friday? Or oh, what do you remember from that? What was the most relevant things that we were discussing last class? What do we guys remember from last class? Para los que no están de listeners, I would like to start with that, guys. Relax, que ya solo faltan tres clases más aparte de esa. Ya vamos a descansar. I see everybody is kind of tired. 
but we gotta practice guys. Uh, last question con wall call. Questions with good and good. Uh, uh -huh. And what else do you remember? Irma says, uh, can I be a listener? Okay, Irma, thank you for letting me know. What was the class related, guys? The, the, the last class, what do you remember? Que por cierto, tuvimos algunas actividades que no completaron, bueno, sí completaron, pero no terminamos de revisar uh, last Friday, if you remember. You just did them, but we didn't check them. We see uh, a little bit about uh, the vocabulary related to hotel reservations. Ah, okay, good. So we were talking about hotel reservations and amenities, right? Yes. Oh, the difference in accommodation and amenities. Ah, right, very good. So basically you were doing a series of activities almost at the end of the class, right? In which you got to select the amenities, you got to select the, 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 the items related to that, right? And as far as I remember, you, you even do a checklist of things like that, right? Okay, so we are going to continue talking about hotels and reservations and all those kind of things, but now we are going to do it in a very different perspective. Why in a very different perspective? Because now we are going to be discussing one specific uh, structure, grammatical structure that I would like to show you up in here. Give me one second. Just to start with this, I would like to show you this up and I would like you to get to know the structure before starting with, you know, like the main, the main issue and the main topic in the manual. So this is the one. Can you guys confirm if you can see my presentation? Yes, it's sure. Okay, thank you. All right, it says, this is the topic guys, how to use be going to. Okay, have you ever heard about this expression, uh, this structure before guys? Han escuchado de esta estructura antes? Be going to. Yes, no, maybe. Yes. Mm, yes, teacher. Mm, okay, good. ¿Qué tanto saben de esta estructura? ¿Para qué la utilizo? What do I use this structure for? Mm. Como debería de ser o algo así. Debería de ser. Mm, not exactly. No exactamente. Vamos a. O oh, voy a. Ah, okay. Good. So, listen guys. This structure is kind of similar to well. Why is it kind of similar to will? Because this structure, it is used to talk about future actions, to talk about future actions, right? So it's pretty similar to be going to, I mean, to will. That, that's like the most common structure that we generally use when making sentences in future. So let's just start with this. So what's the most relevant that we're gonna have for the rest of the class, right? Let's explicar esto un poco rápido, right? Let's voy a explicar un poco rápido la estructura, porque ahora, guys, me interesa que más ustedes participen. Ahorita ando la garganta como que ando vidrios, y toda vez que hablo, como que voy pasando descalzo así, entre vidrios. It feels good. But we gotta finish with this. Let's start with a review from the previous topic. 
I was planning to do a kind of activity with that, but it's going to consume a lot of time. So we're gonna skip that over and let's just start with a conversation that we got in the menu. But I consider it, we will be discussing the structure first and then the conversation. After that, uh, it, it, it's like the structural explanation, right? You simply going to, then you're gonna go over uh, to a series of exercises in the manual, right? Related to the topic. So basically this is like the most relevant that you guys are going to be doing right throughout this class. So let's start with this. Be going to the structure. Let's start with something completely uh, normal and easy, right? Which is the structure. Remember that basically the, stru the structure tell us what to do and how to create sentences, right? So basically that's like the whole structure about. It's just more about to create sentences right good so check this out this guys is the structure that we generally use right to create positive statements using this uh marvin can you please help me out reading the structure yeah. subject uh-huh man más be going to so, ¿Cómo yes. sería más? Class, class. Perdón, teacher. Class. Más. No, no, okay. no más. No, Subject más. Más. Be Marvin. going to. Marvin, do you listen to me? No te escucha, teacher. Mm. Eh, en, esa, en esa forma no es, no es más, es plus. Class. Give me one second, Marvin. Give me one second. I think you, you, you don't okay. like it. This one, Marvin. My. Uy, what is this? That's, it is written like this, brother. It is written like this. Oops. Plus. But in pronunciation, you put it like this. Like this in pronunciation, okay? Plus. Okay? Plus. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Subject mm -hmm. plus. Yes. Be going to plus. Bad form of pair. Based form of the blood. Mm -hmm. Complement. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Marvin. So basically, this is a structure, guys, that we generally use, all right, when creating positive statements. You need the subject, all right? Remember that the subject, it can be any pronoun or proper noun, plus be going to, <clears throat> uh, sorry, class based form of the verb, and then the complement. We got a series of examples just for that. Give me a second. Okay, check this out. We got here a short definition about what it is. It says we use be going to to describe the schedule activities and activities that will definitely happen in the future, right? So this is stated that be going to is mostly used for future action and a schedule events, right? Se preguntarán qué es una schedule activity? And a schedule activity básicamente es una actividad agendada o planeada, right? Para desarrollarse a futuro. That's what it is. That is what a schedule activity refers to. Right? So we got a series of examples. Yeah. Take a look at this one. <clears throat> so Carlos Rivas, help me out reading this one. Example. I am going to book a room in a hotel. Ah, okay, very good. So check that out, guys. I am going to book a room in a hotel, right? Am, porque am, porque recuerden, 
que dependiendo del subject es la forma del verbo to be que vamos a colocar. So, en este caso, como yo tengo I over here, right? Como tengo I, entonces ahí easily es la, uh, um, es la forma del verbo to be que tiene que ir con I, right? And then the structure itself going to y luego el verbo principal en forma base, right? That in this case is book. Y por cierto, ¿qué significa book como verbo? Reservar. Reservar. Very good. Yeah, that's what it is. So, let's move. So, we got another example over here. Uh, <laughs> Jacqueline, help me out reading, please. Uh, you are going to work next week. Ah, okay, thank you. You are going to work next week. So, you see? Similar uh, actions, right? You got going to the structure itself, right? This will never change, but what it changes in here is the verb to be because I got you over here. And then the main verb, remember guys, is in base form, right? But in this case, it's like the verb work, right? So you are going to work next week. Ah, irás a trabajar la próxima semana. So you see, we got a normal sentence over there using the structure. All right, cool. So we got another one over here. Guillermo? Tell me already. She is going to prepare the conference. Okay, very good. So if you see, that one is a third person sentence, right? So in which I got he, right? And I can have she, like in this case, right? And the verb to be, it's basically the form of is because we are talking about singular, right? A singular pronoun. So, and the structure remains the same, going to, and then what it changes is what? Is the verb over here, right? Because in here I got prepare. So that's the verb in base form. And then the word conference, this one is just the what? It's just the complement that appears over here, right? It's just that. And basically, in there, remember, we are talking about scheduled events in the future. That's what it is. Todo aquello que realmente tenemos planeado de hacer a futuro, lo podemos utilizar right con esta estructura del going to, right? That's all you gotta know, guys, right? Para todo tipo de, de, de actividades planeadas, usamos be going to. Right? Good. I don't know, guys, if you're taking notes about that. No sé si están tomando notas sobre eso. Oh, can I move on? ¿Puedo pasar? Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, in the sentence number two, uh -huh. you are going to work next week. Uh -huh. um, ahí no faltaría un word the next week. No. The next week. Eh, uh -huh. El de simplemente es para hacerlo más específico. Igual lo puede colocar o como puede, puede que no. El de ahí ah. solo para enfatizar que es la próxima semana. Pero en realidad no uh -huh. es más importante. Oh, es correcto. It's correct. uh, así. Yes. Ok. I am going to work mm -hmm. next week, like that. Thank you. There you go. It is normal. Okay, I guess since everybody got plans for tomorrow, guys, what are you planning to do tomorrow? What are the activities that you're going to develop tomorrow? Can you give me an example about the activities that you're going to develop tomorrow? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre una actividad que vayan a hacer mañana? Right? Um, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. If you can, write it down. If you know, just let me know, okay? Tell me.
Okay, teacher, uh, I'm going to drink coffee tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. I am going to drink coffee. Um, I am going to the meeting with my boss. Um, actually, we need an extra verb, Anna. I mean, Cristina. Necesitamos un verbo adicional. Si no hay, ya no sería futuro. Oh. Lo acaba de decir es presente progresivo. Okay, I am going to. For example, with the meeting, you can have, you can use the verb have. I am going to have a meeting. Ah, okay. Okay, I am going to. Mm -hmm. The how, no, 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 I am going to have, have. To have, okay. Yes. The meeting with my boss. A meeting with my boss. Okay. A meeting with my boss, All right? Very good. Thank you, Cristina. Let me see, Teresa says, I'm going to have meetings. Oh, okay, Teresa ya la había donado con la oración. <laughs> okay, Teresa, good. I'm going to work all night. Tu, 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 tu. Okay, Juan, recuerde, night con GHT. No, GTH. Okay, but good example, Juan. All right. Ser, podría. Ajá, Marvin. Podría ser, I am, I am going to work in the event. Inventory, inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it is possible. I am going to work in the inventory. Good, good. Good example. Thank you. I am going to learn English. Okay, perfect, Carlos. Very good. Somebody else, guys. I am going to go going to the doctor next week. Uh, read again, uh, Rosalie. Podría leérmelo de nuevo, por favor. I am going to go. Ah, okay. The doctor next week. To the doctor next week. Okay, very good. I am going to go to the doctor next week. Perfect. Very good. Okay, cool, Katia. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por decirme. All right, somebody else, guys. Any other example? Teacher, estaría correcto. I am going to visit my sister. Yes. Yeah, it is correct. All right. Okay. Inclusive ahí le podemos poner una time expression para ser más específico. I am going to be my, uh, I mean, I am going to visit my sister tomorrow morning, next week, next weekend, next month, next year, right? Okay. You can even be more specific like that. All right. Good. Uh, let me see. Who is not doing this? Carlos Enrique, do you participate already? Yes, teacher, I am going to learn English. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. El otro Carlos es que se me hizo. Carlos Antonio, what about you, brother? Who are you as a listener? Carlos Antonio, oyentes Elías de... Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, sorry, Carlos. I think you're working, right? I'm going to do my homework this week. Ah, okay, perfect. I mean, actually, it's true. Bueno, de hecho, sí, es cierto. Tienen hasta el jueves para terminarme todo, ya que me acordaron de las tareas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember that, guys. Yeah. Hasta el jueves. Yes. Uh, I have... Per, I have a problem with platform activities and ah. this topic and, and uh, one question mm -hmm. um, me sale así como mala 
y la, la escribí con, o sea, de este tema, pero no sé por qué me sale mala. ¿En serio? Le voy a compartir la foto aquí en el chat. No sé quién más ha trabajado, si usted tiene esta actividad en, el, en la plataforma, pero es la única que me sale mala. No sé por qué. Pinche la tarea 17, a mí también no, no, todas me las toma mala. No sé si se puede revisar. All right. Ah, eh, ajá, al principio ah, da, o sea, porque les dice ¿Eh? completar. Let's do something. Entonces, Vamos ajá. a esperar. Voy a hacer un paréntesis y voy a, voy a compartir esa parte y vamos a ver qué es el detalle, cuál es el problema, ¿ok? Ahorita, a veces de ser los espacios, los puntos y las mayúsculas. Okay. Así que vamos a ver cuál es el detalle y así pues para ver qué podemos hacer. Y me voy a hacer con... Sale mal, estamos en la pregunta, ya vamos a ver. Ya vamos a revisar. ¿Qué me voy a hacer con Luis? What happened here? Cha, 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 cha. Ok, cool. Section 4. Travel friends. Uh, it's like 17, right? That's one. Esta sería. ¿Correcto? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. A veces cuando las hacemos desde el celular, suele pasar algo, guys. Que el celular automáticamente se da, él solo se da un tab, un espacio. Right? Tenemos que a veces tener cuidado también de que ese espacio no, 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 no se dé. Porque si se da, aunque tengamos todo correcto, pero si hay un pequeño espacio, la pregunta nos, la, la respuesta nos sale mal. Ok, solo para tener en cuenta ahí. Vamos a ver, dice, instructions. Complete the sentences using the form of be going to plus the verb in brackets. Mm. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si solamente se necesita poner el be going to o si necesita colocarse toda la oración. Comencemos con he, vamos a ver, is going to on. Sí, teacher, así es, solo completarla. Vamos a ver, ah, 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 le damos enviar. Ok, good, ya está bien esta. Very nice. Now, the second one. We, luego dice, are. we are, ok, good, going, going to, to play. play. Going to play. Okay, right? Vamos a hacer la otra, vaya. Ayúdenme. My sister. My sister is. Going, going, to watch. Watch. going to watch. Is going to watch. Uh -huh. TV. Yeah. No solo no. is going to watch. No, solo es. Uh -huh. You are. Going to have. Uh -huh. Okay, and this one. Jane is, is going, going to, go. to go. go. Vamos a ver. Le damos enviar. Oh, debo suponer que. Ver, debo suponer que esta es la que siempre le sale mal. No sé por qué. Vaya, esta es la que le sale mal. <ríe> sí, teacher, esa es la que me sale mal. Ah, no. Le quité espacio, le puse espacio, nada. <ríe> Y los demás, ¿esa es la igual la que tienen problemas? ¿Los demás también tienen problemas con esa? No, teacher. Esta. No, Juan, no. Bueno, habrá, habrá que ver esa parte también, porque creo que acá a, a veces hay errores de plataforma. Entonces acá yo creo que, como dice Juan, aquí hay que colocar la respuesta todo completo. Sería... You no, teacher, tampoco da así. Need to have a picnic next Tuesday. Vamos a ver. Ah, ah, ah. debemos de enviar. Oh, no. No lo da. Teacher, que si esta se pusiera completa, todas fueran completas también. Sí, es que a veces como hay pequeños errores ahí en the platform. Vamos a ver. Mm. Ta, ta, ta. No, pero es que está raro. That's weird. Que no la acepte.
<ríe> Ahí está la red. Got it. Ok, teacher. Simple y sencillamente, Entonces, sencillamente hay, hay que, que agregarle el pronombre. Hay que uh -huh. agregarle el you. Este es un error de dedo de la plataforma. Ahí eh, se les ha olvidado eliminar el you. Este you no debería de porque ya está acá. Ajá, ok. Entonces, that's the mistake, guys. <laughs> yeah. All Thank right. you, teacher. Okay, good, good. So basically, that's that's the only uh, the only issue there. Cool. Si tienen futuros problemas igual con las demás, me lo hacen saber. So in that case, we can fix it up in here, right? There you go. So now let's move on with uh, where we stayed. Okay, so we were here. Okay, now let's move on, guys. We got some extra examples over here. Maritza. Help me a reading, please. We are going to use a double room. Ah, okay, very good. We are going to use a double room. Nice. Let me see. Doris, help me a reading. They are going to bowl a hotel. Okay, they are going to build actually a hotel, right? Very good. They're going to build. We got another one over here, Marvin. Students, students are going to finish class on Tuesday. Ah, okay, very Tuesday. good. Thursday. Thursday. Okay, thank you. Students are going to finish class on Thursday, right? Very good. So those ones are a scheduled events, remember, right? Good. Christina? <clears throat> Carla is going to visit her family. Okay, very good. So you see, so in there we got the way, right? Yes, and the structure. Nice. And I think this is going to be the last part. To... Let me see. Who else is in here? Carlos. Jose is going to use the Hurel service. Okay, very good. So Jose is going to use the shuttle service, right? Very good. Get a shuttle service, guys. Recuerdan? Es el servicio de transporte. Very good. Very good, guys. Nice. All right. So basically, this is the way, right? Nice. Uh, let me see the last one. La última. Give me one second. Teresa, ¿pudo arreglar el, el, el inconveniente con el audio? Creo que no. All right. Good. Help me out, brother. Um, the dog is going to bark. Ah, okay, very good. The dog is going to bark. You know what is bark? ¿Saben qué significa bark? bark. Bark. Bark means ladrar. Right? Bark means ladrar. There you go. Una diferencia notoria entre uso de will and be going to. Va. Una diferencia notoria, Juan, eh, entre will y going to es que will es más utilizado para acciones que nosotros no tenemos planeado hacer a futuro o que no tenemos planeado. Right, en cambio, going to es para algo ya meramente planeado. Will es más que todo para cosas eh, o eventos o situaciones espontáneas en el futuro. All right, like that. Will es más que todo para ofrecer ayuda, para hablar de promesas, right, o acciones a largo plazo. Be going to es más que todo ya 
cosas más planeadas. Okay. Esa es una diferencia en tanto notorio. Yeah, between day both. Good. So, sorry, Teresa, sí creo que todavía tiene problemas de audio. Mm, probably es your microphone, the, the, the one that is causing the issue. No sé si es que está con algún headset o oh, posiblemente sí sea problemas meramente del micrófono del aparato donde está. Mm, but anyways, por lo menos estamos ahí, like active and trying to participate in the chat. It's cool. All right, good. Uh, I don't know, guys, if you copy this. No sé si ya copiaron esto. Can I move on? No, well, teacher, ya casi. Okay, cool. Copy that and then we're going to continue. Guys, ¿cómo van con el proceso de inscripción para el otro módulo? Sí, van a continuar, ¿correcto? Yes, teacher. Sí. Ya mañana mandan algo. Ah, perfect, perfect. Very good. Teacher, eh, señor Susi le comentó algo sobre el día miércoles, ¿verdad? Que tenemos una actividad en el colegio. Yes, yes. Ok. Vale. Bad, dice Juan. ¿Cómo así, Juan? Vamos a trasnochar ese día, teacher. Sí, así, <risa> así me comentó uh, Susana de que sí van a tener una especie de concierto o algo así, uh, que sí o sí tienen, sí. tienen que asistir. Eh, es el aniversario número 30 de la fundación acá en El, acá en el Salvador no. y 25 años de que el colegio está, uh, está funcionando. Uh -huh. Yes, man, y en ese tipo de eventos, sí, man, it's like, it's, es, no es una opción decir no. <ríe> Así de simple. Exactamente. I know that. Lo sé, lo sé. ¿no? Right. So, okay, finish. Ajá, cool. Lo bueno es que va a ser el 30, ¿no? Creo. No, el miércoles 31. Ah, el 31, ya, yeah, that's correct. Lo bueno yes. es que ya para el jueves eh, ya van a estar acá. El jueves sí o sí, guys. Sí, quiero que estén acá. Es la última clase. Es donde vamos a tener la encuesta de satisfacción. Right, que siempre se hace. Please, recuerden, posiblemente si no les ha llegado ahora, les llegue mañana, a más tardar. No eh, una vez reciban la encuesta de satisfacción, simple y sencillamente escríbanme en el grupo. Teacher, ya recibí la encuesta. ¿Por qué? Porque me interesa saber que todos, a todas les ha llegado la información. Porque a veces ya el día ha llegado, yo pregunto, ¿a todos les llegó? Y sí, sí, teacher, sí, todos, todos. Y el día de la, de la encuesta ya estamos ahí, me dice, teacher, a mí no me ha llegado la notificación. No sé qué pasó, pero yo no recibí mensaje. Yo sí como que le pregunté hace como dos días. Right. Entonces, para evitar ese tipo de inconvenientes, sí. right. me confirman, por favor, ¿ok? Y no la vayan a hacer. La vamos a hacer el, el, ese día nada más. El último día acá, ¿ok? In the class. Ta, ta, ta. ¿Ya recibió la encuesta, Juan? That's cool, man. That's cool. Perfect. Si ya la recibieron, perfecto. Recuerden, la haremos el jueves. Right. Sí, posiblemente la mayoría se las envíen a, a, a sus correos. Algunas lo hacen a través de WhatsApp, pero creo que últimamente lo están haciendo a través de correo. nada más. Así que, check your, your emails, ¿ok? Try to check your emails and get to know on that. Okay, now, so we were discussing about positive statements, guys. Ahora vamos a lo opuesto. How to create negative statements using the structure. And we got the structure over here. Right? Y tenemos acá la estructura. So it is the subject plus B plus not plus going to plus main verb plus complement. ¿Qué es lo único que le agregamos acá? que justamente después de B está not. Así de sencillo, right? After B, we got not. Examples. Look at this uh, series of examples, please. 
So it says here, I am not going to have a meeting tomorrow, right? Uh, it is like, no tendré una reunión mañana, right? So we got another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Jacqueline. Uh, you are not going to call you clients. 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 Very good. Thank you. All right. It says you are not going to call your clients. All right. So we got another one. Uh, let me see. Someone has not participated that much. Jesus Christ, most of you guys are on Sunday send up today. Guillermo? Yes, it's sure. Tell me a reading. And she's not going to buy a, a new computer. Okay, very good. She is not going to buy a new computer, right? So basically there, guys, <clears throat> You got the ways about how to create negative statements using this structure. Cool. Any question? Any doubts? Tenemos alguna pregunta, alguna duda, guys? About this specific topic. No, teacher. Everything is super clear. Okay, nice. There you go, guys. Da, 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 da. All right. Back in the past, you did an example using a first person about an activity that you are going are going to do tomorrow. Now. Quiero que piensen en un compañero de ustedes de trabajo y me mencionen una actividad que ese compañero o compañera no hará mañana en su trabajo. ¿Ok? Think on, on one example, right? And write it down and then let me know. This is using a third person, ¿ok? Aquí ya lo, lo haremos usando una tercera persona. Right, let's do it, guys. And let me know when you finish. Teresa? Aha, Teresa. Listo, teacher. Logré solucionar. Perdón. Okay, gracias. Gracias. gracias por la paciencia. <laughs> no problem, Teresa. That's cool. Uh, no sé si puedo decir una negativa. Yes, sí. go. Uh, Rafa is not going to rest tomorrow. Very good. Rafa is not going to rest tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys. Let me know when you finish. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Read it. Cesar is not going to answer email in the morning. Okay, very good. Thank you. Finish. All right, let's go. Uh, Mario isn't going to send emails tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you. Me teacher. Okay, cool. Let's go. Katia is not going to leave early tomorrow. Ah, Katia is not going to leave early tomorrow. Very good. Thank you, Rosalie. And talking about Katia, no se conectó a ver. Let me see, let me see. Listen, Listen. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde? Ah, sí, Katia de León, ya la vi. Ahorita. <laughs> okay. There you go. Something else, guys? Alguien más? Somebody. I'm teacher. <clears throat> oh. Susie will not... Sorry, 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 sorry. Susie is 
going to no Susie is not going to have a break. Ah, okay, very good. Susie for the meeting good. with the boss. Um, que viene de España. <laughs> Man, I can imagine, man. Y ella por ser como... Coordinadora. Las coordinadoras tiene un, un trabajo aún más. más pesado. Yes. <coughs> Así que no tendrá receso mañana. Bueno, no, pues, bueno, está Susi. <risa> Susana, si me está escuchando, me está viendo, mire. Good luck. <risa> Buena suerte. <risa> There you go. Nada, no, manches. But you guys are gonna uh, are gonna do it good, right? That's that's the way. Perfect. Somebody else, guys. Alguien más. Arnoldo is not going to visit the plant. Okay. Very good. Excellent. She is not going to play volleyball with her team. Okay, Juan. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Carlos is not going to play football this Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, guys, somebody else. Da -da -da. Doris, did you participate already? Ya me dio su ejemplo, Daris. Doris, are you there? Se nos durmió, Doris. Ok, there you go. Now, let me see. Who else? Uh, uh, Kenia, is it a listener? Uh, na, 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 na. Ok, I guess everybody has already participated. Okay, cool. Let's move on, guys. Okay, we got another one. Next one here. I didn't know. He is not going to go out. Ah, el no saldrá. Right? He is not going to go out. Very good. Now, let's try to move. Okay, cool. So, we have been discussing, guys, about positive statements, negative statements. Now, let's focus on questions, right? How to create question. What kind of question? Specifically, just no questions, right? Y para crear una just no question, esta es la estructura. B plus subject, plus going to, plus main verb, plus complement, right? Esta es la estructura base que nosotros necesitamos para crear preguntas cortas. Okay, good. Okay, Juan. No podemos usar WH. Sí, Juan, sí podemos. Ya voy a explicar eso. Eh, me gusta particionar así las cosas porque primero eh, es bueno dar en una forma de pregunta para luego incurrir a la otra. Yes, sí se puede, Juan. Ya vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos de hecho con ellos. Ok, but it's possible. Pero sí se puede usar las WH words. All right, good. So, let's start with this one. All right, cool. Maritza, help me already. Are you going to buy food tonight? tonight? Okay, thank you. All right, guys, if you take a look in here, ¿por qué se le conoce como una yes no question? Porque simple y sencillamente el modo de respuesta es yes o no. Simple as that. And you got, are you going to buy food tonight? ¿Comprarás comida esta noche? If it is positive, yes, I am. 
Yes, I am. That is if it is positive. What happens if it is negative? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good. Right? No, I'm not. That's the way. Very good. Sí, teacher, una pregunta. Um, la, forma, la forma de la pregunta tiende a expresar posibilidad nada más, no algo planeado, ¿verdad? Ah, de hecho, sí. Ajá. Sorry, Javi. Lo siento. <ríe> ya me está haciendo efecto la medicina. <ríe> ok, no, actually, uh, Cristina, aquí es simple y sencillamente es porque queremos saber algo que pensamos nosotros que va a suceder a futuro, right? Ah, eh, ah, de cierto ah, modo puede ser posibilidad. Una right? posibilidad. Siempre y, y siempre y cuando, pues, eh, digamos, eh, no lo hayamos preguntado, pero una vez ya haciéndola, ya no sería más posibilidad, sino un lo harás. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a, a planned event, right? Something planned. So... Okay, thank you. But it has a certain degree of possibility, right? Because it's algo que, pues, estamos hablando que no se ha hecho, right? It's algo a futuro. Very good. Por consiguiente, no se está demasiado seguro si se va a hacer, right? Cool. So this is like just the way, guys, how we can create this type of structure, right? Now, let's move. So, extra example questions. Check this one out. Carlos, help me a reading, please. Is he going to do the homework? Okay, mister, thank you. All right, it says, is he going to do the homework? All right, possible answer. If it is positive, we give me one second, guys. What a messed up I have done here. Give me one second. No les quiero mostrar este horror que acabo de hacer acá. Ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. <laughs> en mi defensa. La gripe me anda mal. Es la medicina, lo perdonamos. No, de hecho, no sé, yo siempre caigo de una cosa para meterme a otra. ¿no? It, is, it is always like that, no sé por qué. But it happens, it happens. Así que, that's the reason why, man. Creo que voy a, 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 a request a time. Uh, and I'm going to skip classes at night for a long time. I'm gonna share this again. Give me one second. No sé, alguien me estaba hablando. Sí, teacher. Eh, solo para que me quede un poco más claro. Ajá. El uso del going to es como algo ya programado, ya seguro. Vas a, no, voy a, a algo que haré. Correcto. Haré, o sea, la forma correcta de la traducción es voy a hacer esto. Correcto. En cambio, con el we eso lo haré. Así como okay. que tal vez. No es como que exactly. voy a hacer esto mañana. Exacto. Okay. Más que todo con will es para cosas que en, en, en sí no están meramente planeadas. Right? Supongamos que usted... Como algo que deseo, deseo hacer. Okay. Pero no tengo una fecha, un día o eh, establecido para realizar. Correcto. Okay. Supongamos que usted al fin de semana... Tiene una tarea que hacer, right? Supongamos que está estudiando y tiene una tarea que hacer. Y usted dice, I mean, ah, I am going to do the homework the next weekend, right? Es algo que usted ya ha planeado, algo que está planeando hacer el fin de semana, que es hacer la tarea. Pero viene Marvin, right? Como es una persona bien altruista, él bien uh, caritativo, right? Y le dice, ah, really? I will help you. Ah, te ayudaré. Cool. Usando will. ¿Qué sucede ahí? 
lo suyo es planeado. Usted ya tiene establecido que el fin de semana usted va a hacer la tarea. Pero viene Marvin. Marvin ni siquiera sabía que iba a ser usted. Pero Marvin, como él es buena persona, right, dijo, I will help you. No dijo, I am going to help you. ¿Por qué will? Porque en ese instante a él le nació el querer ayudar. Cuando uno ofrece una ayuda así, ya no se usa going to, se usa will. Aparte de eso, es una acción espontánea, pensada en el instante, no previamente planeada. Entonces, por eso, ya no puede usar el be going to, sino que el will. Right? Entonces, ahí es igual, como un claro ejemplo de cómo manejar ambas. Be going to y will. Right? Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. So, let's move. All right, so take a look at this other one. It says, are they going to hire new employees? ¿Contratarán nuevos empleados? Yes, they are. If it is positive. No, they aren't. If it is negative, right? Very good. But remember, this is mostly just to do Right, just to do an answer with a yes and no form. That's it. There you go, guys. Uh, I don't know if you uh, if you have questions with this. No sé si tenemos preguntas a la fecha. No, teacher. Ok, perfect. Cool. Bueno, si no tienen preguntas, copy that, guys. Copien eso. Luego quiero que escriban una pregunta, una just no question, dirigida a uno de sus compañeros. Así que cojan a uno de sus compañeros y escribanles una pregunta. Please. Cuando la tengan, me lo hacen saber. Pero directamente, right? Directamente. Let me know, guys, when you finish, okay? Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. We're going to wait for the rest of the class just to start with that. Finished, teacher. Okay, perfect. Teresa, la pregunta es, eh, va dirigida a Marixa. Yes, chair. Mm -hmm. Solo la escribí ahí en el chat. Ajá, ah, pero vaya, si la pregunta va dirigida okay. directamente a, Mauri, a Maritza, si usted se la va a preguntar, 
eh, no estaría correcto. Ah, eh, vaya. tiene razón. Es el are you going to. Eh, eh, vaya, es eh, correcto. Porque si la pregunta fuese para Cristina, hablando sobre Maritza, sí, está correcto. Right? Pero Ajá, ahí sí. iría directamente a Maritza. Entonces ahí ya, ya no sería a Maritza is. Es como que estemos tres en la conversación, ¿verdad? Y yo correcto. le pregunté, o sea, si sí, ella lo va a hacer. Exacto. Ya comprendo. Gracias, gracias. Entonces ahí sería, are you? Y luego la continuación. Eh, teacher, finish. Um, ¿La decimos o la escribimos? No, usted se la va a decir directamente a la persona que se la ha escrito. Ah, ok. Cool. Y esa persona le va a decir la respuesta, yes o no, ok. There you go. Creo que ya la mayoría terminó. Así que, uh, I'm going to start with, voy a comenzar con los que están ahorita escribiendo en el chat, permítame. Carlos, to whom the question is directed? Permítame. Carlos Antonio. Is Antonio. Ah, ¿cómo a Carlos? Pero ¿para quién es la pregunta? Usted mismo. Antonio. Teacher. Ah, sorry. Antonio. Antonio. Yes. ¿Quién es Antonio? No, usted mismo. Yes. <laughs> Come on, brother. All right. <laughs> I was expecting to somebody else. Vaya, supongamos que esa pregunta okay. es directamente para Cristina. Hágale esa pregunta a Cristina. Is Cristina going to the cinema this week? No, pero es que si es para Cristina, no le va a decir is Cristina going. Le va a decir are you, porque es directamente a ella. Ok, teacher. Are you going to the cinema this week? Ah, ok, cool. Cristina? Yes, I am. Maybe. Ok. <laughs> ok. Thank you, Carlos. All right, cool. Cristina, read yours. Um, ahí está. Cristina? Read yours. Le da la suya. <ríe> Se nos bugueó Cristina. Hello, Cristina. Hola, yo? hola, hola. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. O soy yo el que estoy hablando solo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. No, 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 no. <ríe> Lea el suyo. ¿La leo? Yes, yes. Ok. Rosalí. Are you going to have the report ready tomorrow in the morning? Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yes, Thank you, Christina. Now, Rosalie. And this by Guillermo. Guillermo, are you going to connect to class tomorrow? Okay, good, good question. Guillermo. Guillermo. <laughs> you sleeping, Guillermo? No, teacher. <laughs> Se escucha un poco entrecortado. Es que por eso quito la cámara. Ah, ah okay. Okay. Es que si le enciendo, lo escucho entrecortado. Ah, ok, cool. Entonces tiene problemas de red. No, no hay problema. Um, Rosalie, read again. And Guillermo, are you going to connect the class tomorrow? Yes, I do. No, Guillermo. Guillermo. Yes, teacher. ¿Estás seguro que es yes, I do? No. ¿Y entonces? ¿Cuál es el correct answer, Guillermo? ¿Ok? 
perdimos a Guillermo. <ríe> a Guillermo, remember, sería yes, I am, no I do, ¿ok? Porque en la pregunta, recuerda, no llevamos el auxiliar do, sino que ya sería el verbo to be, ¿all right? Creo que Guillermo tiene problemas de internet, that's the reason why he got stuck. Sí, ha de haber quedado bugueado. <ríe> It happens, suele pasar. Anyways, all right, guys. Any other participant with the question? Vamos a ver. Permítanme. Voy a leer algunas de las que están en texto acá. Are you going to pass the English test? <laughs> Ay, Katia. Yes, I am, le voy a decir. Porque, yeah, right. Usted lo va a hacer. <laughs> Maybe it's raining. Yeah, Juan, posiblemente esté lloviendo. Por eso es el, el problema de la conexión, right? Juan pregunta, dice, Teresa, are you going to get up early tomorrow? Yes, I am. <laughs> ok, cool. <laughs> sí. Ok, perfect. ¿Algún voluntario que quiera leer su pregunta? Que no la haya leído. Mejor apagar la cámara, ¿verdad? qué valor. Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Es, es, es en las últimas. Teacher. Vamos a ver. And you're doing that. Teacher. No problem. Ajá. Carlos. Are you going to visit the company tomorrow? Yes, I am. Very good, Carlos. There you go. Perfect. Okay, good. Somebody else? Let me see who. All right, Teresa ya participó. Let me see. Guillermo está con problemas de red. Jacqueline, you participate already? Okay, teacher. Empiezo. ¿Ah? Empiezo. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, is, is going to do the homework? Underworld, yes, I hear. No, I hear. Are they going to hear new employees? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Ah, okay, cool. Y, y si le pido que me haga un ejemplo por usted. Um, sería. I am going. Hágame una pregunta, vaya. Sobre algo que yo posiblemente haga mañana. Eh, sería. Aplicando la estructura. Ah, por ejemplo. Le voy a ayudar. Going, Le voy a ayudar. To class. Le voy a ayudar. Vaya, vamos a hacer esto. Me va a comenzar a leer de acá en adelante. Mire, y usted me le va a cambiar el verbo. Léame esto hasta acá. Y luego usted me le pone otro verbo adicional. Esto ya que... Eh, solo me va a hacer esto. Are you going to... Y luego dígame un verbo. Cualquier verbo. Le agrego el hip. En este caso. El eat. Comer. Eat. Yes. No, you can. Is are... Is... No, no, no. no is, are, yes. you, are you... Are you going to... Eat. Eat my class. Ah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no mencioné lo de comida porque ah, sí, sí. comer. Sí, sí. Eh, are you going to eat food tonight? Ah, ok, cool. Eh, then I said, uh, yes, I am. Ok, very good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Let me see. So let's guess uh, the rest has already participated on that. All right, let's go, guys. Let's continue. Uy, qué cosas. That's all right, the extra examples. Now, let's see the last stage, all right? Ahora viene la última parte. Cuando ya aplicamos las information questions o las WH words están incluidas. Uh, lo que usted, Juan, me preguntaba, right? Aquí ya está, mire. 
aplicando las WH words. Recuerden, guys, cuando hablamos de WH words es cuando incluimos what, what time, where, when, who, right? All of those ones. Y si notan, básicamente de acá en adelante, de acá en adelante, es básicamente la misma estructura de las just no questions, que es lo único. Ah, lo único es que se le agrega esto. Eso es lo único. Right? La WH word. Para que la pregunta sea abierta. Right? So, we got some examples. Yes, of course. We got a series of examples. Right? The first example, Rosalie, help me out, please. Where are you going to call your bus? Thank you. Right, you see, where are you going to call your boss? Right? ¿Dónde llamarás a tu jefe? Right? Si ven aquí ya la respuesta, pues tiene que ser muy diferente, right? Good. So, Marvin, let me read the answer. Uh, I am going. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I am going. Uh -huh. La misma, teacher. Ah, no, no, no. Recuerde, Rosalí solo leyó la pregunta. Usted va a leer la respuesta. Ay, excuse me. No problem. I am, go I, am, I am going to call my boss in the office. Okay, very good. Thank you. So you see, básicamente, ¿qué buscamos en la pregunta? Bueno, esto. En la respuesta, el lugar. Parte esto. esto es lo que necesitamos en la respuesta, ¿verdad? Right? El lugar. Si se fijan todo lo demás, básicamente está en la pregunta. Pero en la respuesta, esto es lo que necesitamos, ¿verdad? Right? El lugar. Exactly. Donde la acción se desarrolla. All right. Another question, Maritza. Let's read. What time is... He going to send the report. Okay, very good. ¿Qué nos interesa ahí? La hora. Eso es lo que a mí me interesa. Saber. Exactly, right? Entonces, la hora es la que esa acción sucedió. Eh, ¿Cuál es la hora, uh, 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 Teresa? Eh, he's going to send the report. Es, es esta, ¿verdad, teacher? Perdón, yes, que estoy... Yes, yes, he is... He's going to send the report at 8 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, guys, you see? He is going to send the report at 8 a.m. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que me interesa a mí acá? Esto. The time. Right? La hora en la que la acción es desarrollada. Very good. Any question with this, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? Teacher, entonces, cuando se responde a las information questions, prácticamente la respuesta va al final o no necesariamente? En, no necesariamente, pero sí casi todo el tiempo. Lo más común es que vaya al final. Casi siempre va al final. Ok. Right. Yeah. Casi siempre. Se tiende a escribir la respuesta al final. Right. All right, guys. Let me know when you finish this because I need to stop uh, sharing this and focus on the, on the manual. Mm. Ah, Katia is here. Hello, Katia. You're at home. Hello, teacher. En casita. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Let me know, let me know when you finish, guys. Finish teacher. 
perfect. Finish teach. Okay, very good. All right, en lo que terminan, guys, permítanme. Necesito acción. Give me one second. All right, so I guess everybody has already finished. So I'm gonna stop sharing this. And now guys, I suggest you to open up your manuals. Y nos, vámonos a, nos vamos a la página 41. Page 41 from your manuals. And uh, you guys will find out a conversation over there. And is this conversation. Right, uh, it says over here, uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner, a phone call to a hotel, right? So the conversation is between Jen and Gerardo, right? So let's just start over, uh, reading the conversation. If you guys have any question with the vocabulary, remember, let me know at the end of the, uh, of the practice, okay? Good, it says Jen, <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. This is Jen. How can I help you? How can I help you? It's a Gerardo. Hello. Hello, I need to make a reservation. I need to make a reservation. Jen says, sure. Sure. May I have your name, please? May I have your name, please? Gerardo says, of course. Um, Gerardo Gomez. Of course, um, Gerardo Gomez. It says Jen. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? When are you going to arrive? It says Gerardo. I'm going to arrive. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. On Friday 14th. Right? So now Jen says, How long are you going to stay with us? How long? Are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Gerardo says, I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay until Monday. Jen says, Are you going to make the reservation? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? For a single or double room? Gerardo says, a single room, please. A single room, please. Very good, guys. Uh, do you have any question with that vocabulary from the conversation? 
¿Tenemos alguna duda con respecto al vocabulario de esa conversación? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm, yes. Eh, Gerardo dice, I'm going to stay until Monday. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Permaneceré hasta el lunes. Eso quiere decir. Toda la oración. Yes. Until significa hasta. Ok. Ok, cool. So, guys, if you, have, if you don't have any question, I would like you to practice this one right out. Esto no lo vamos a hacer. This is like, like kind of easy to you. Give me one second. Okay, esta parte es la grammar explanation que hemos estado viendo en la presentación. Así que esta parte por lo menos vamos a tratar de evitar. All right. What are we going to do right, right now, guys? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Bueno, ahorita mm. lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Vamos a ir a practicar esta pequeña conversación que tenemos acá for a couple of minutes, right? <clears throat> y acá, esta parte de acá, la vamos a completar. Como así. Listen. Dice... Fill the form with information from the conversation. Compare your answers with a partner. De la conversación de arriba, vamos a llenar esta parte acá. The Golden Star Hotel Reservation Form. Esta es una forma o una, you know, like, a uh, página para hacer la reservación del hotel. Right. Aquí van a poner el nombre del agent, el invitado, cuando hizo check-in y cuando hizo check-out. Recuerden, el check-in es cuando se registra la entrada del hotel y el check-out es la salida, ¿ok? Entonces, esa información la vamos a llenar acá, right? Cool. Luego de ello, cuando ya hayamos llenado esta información, vamos a bajar acá y me interesa que completemos este ejercicio 5. Over here, guys, right? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Pay attention. Dice... Order the words to create sentences and questions about the scheduling activities. Básicamente, aquí ustedes tienen una serie de palabras desordenadas, ya sean preguntas o respuestas, ustedes la van a identificar. Y simple y sencillamente lo que vamos a hacer es organize them, ordenarlas. ¿Ok? That's all, guys, you are going to do. ¿Ok? Básicamente, ordenar everything like that. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Any question, guys? No questions? Okay, cool. So, me gustaría saber quiénes son los que estamos activos en la clase para poderlos poner en parejas. Si no me quieren encender la cámara, por lo menos pónganme un like. O dígame, yo, teacher, no quiero ponerlos con alguien que esté de oyente porque no me van a hacer nada. Y la idea es que podamos practicar, ¿ok? Cool, Teresa is there. Mi teacher. Rosalí, very good. Carlos Enrique, Carlos Antonio, you ok? No, teacher, no, teacher. Ah, ok, usted no, perfecto. Pero Carlos Enrique, ¿estamos bien? We can participate. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Perfect. Doris, everything okay for the practice? Yes, teacher. Very good. Two, 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 two. Irma, no podría participar usted? Me parece Irma, me contestó antes. Irma, Rosalí. Okay, you might think he's, he's doing something else. All right, so just give me one second. I'm going to try to do this up.
Ok, sí. Creo que ahí están los que no están como oyentes. Ta, ta, ta. Ok, guys. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Team. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, okay. Uh, and the start. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday for... The agent. Gomez. Um, Mo. Okay. A single room. Mhm. Aquí vamos con una pregunta. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Mr. Gomez, Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday, 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Mm -hmm. empiezo. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star, or Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I, may I, may I. Okay. <laughs> Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jim. 
How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay on it Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Yen. How can I help you? Check, check out. Check out tomorrow. Así, Mr. Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Sí, yes. Mr. Turcio is going to check out tomorrow. Okay, number five. The maintenance team. Yes. Maintenance team is going to attend a conference on the October 10th. Going to maintenance team is going to attend a conference on the October 10th. Mm -hmm. No sé si se la tiene. Ten on conference. Ahorita lo estoy terminando. Conference. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. October 10. Bueno, entonces sería The maintenance team is going to attend on conference uh, October 10. On October 10, ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. ¿Y, y ahí por qué no se ocupa el... Ah, uh, no, ya. Yeah. Sorry. El at es solo para el tiempo. Ya, 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 ya. Ya me acordé. Uh, I remember. Okay. Y the number six. Mr. Díaz. Is, is going, going, to, going to need a non-smoking. Room. No smoking. Smoking room. Room. We finished the chair. Ah, okay, very good. Let me see, record a conversation and we found sure the other should be a partner. Think of two businesses. Okay. There you go. So you're with uh, da, 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 with Doris, right? Yeah. Okay. So solamente con Doris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about to the listener. All right, good. So just let me uh, go and check uh, the other ones. And, and if they have already finished, we're going to go back to the main section.
Okay. Okay. I am going to I am going to wake up wake up call wake up call Sí, creo. For Recuerden, recuerden que después del going to va el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Requis, no, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Re request. 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 Request, ese es el verbo. Request. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa request? No. Request significa pedir o solicitar. Um, entonces sería I am going to request we, for wake up going request I am going to request I going to request for wake up call five AM. Sí, así. Que va a solicitar después. Darlo a la por boicot. Ah. A las 5 a.m. Ah, espérame, entonces sería: I going, I going to, to me wake up, wake call, up. call, call, I am for request. Uh -huh. la secuencia de la estructura que les di um, debe ser I'm going to request uh, wake pedir. up Vaya. I'm going yeah. to espérate I'm going to Vaya. Es, I'm going to request for a wake up call 5 a.m. I'm going to require, request a call for wake up at 5 a.m. Algo así me suena. <laughs> no lo sé. Interesante. No sé, no suena primera parte. I'm going to request for a wake up call 5 a.m. Voy a pedir una llamada de, para despertar a las 5 a.m. Y eso no, teacher. <risa> A ver, vaya, miren. No, si no sería I'm going Pero, to request. Ahí está, ahí está bien. Ajá. Lo demás. De ahí, 5 a.m. for a wake up call. Eh, no. For uh -huh. I am, for I am, for, for 5 a.m. wake up call. Ok, listen. I'm going to request. Ok. Vaya. Uh -huh. Listen, give me one second. Necesito salir de esta zona acá. Vaya, no me ponen el A. ¿Dónde está el A ahí? Vea que no lo tienen. I am going to yeah. request a wake up call for uh -huh. by I am. I, I am going to wake up call uh, for uh, 5 a.m. I am going to request a mm -hmm. una llamada de 
para despertar a las 5 a.m. Ok. <coughs> My next. La siguiente. Mr. Turcios going, going to. Is going to. Is going to, sí. Mr. Check Turcios out tomorrow. Going, Y ahí quiero ver. Okay. Maintenance team. The next is maintenance team is attend. Is going to attend the conference. On. Sorry, girls. On. Me tuve que desconectar ahorita ando más ah, eliminado de la gripe que a ver qué. <ríe> Pero falta detain, detain, el detain. Maintenance team. Eh, de, de. El maintenance team. El equipo de mantenimiento. De. de, de ajá. Ah. Porque, ajá. Dios mío, yo estoy hablando en, con esto apagado. Ah. Eh, the, man, the maintenance team is going to attend a conference Atlanta, on October 10th. Attend. Perfecto. A conference on October 10th. Just así. Si me tengo que ir a una conferencia. De ahí quiero ver, Mr. Miss. ¿You finished, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Cool. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Creo que ya es el penúltimo grupo. Necesito revisar que este otro grupo haya terminado y nos vamos a la sección principal, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Your don't girls? ¿Finalizaron? Sí. Sí, Perfect. So, in this case, vámonos a la sala principal. See you there. Okay, so where is everybody? Ah, yeah, they are coming back. All right, guys, I would like to listen to you uh, practice this conversation, 
right? ¿Quién quiere ser la primera pareja voluntaria en participar? Everybody is going to do it, so. Carlos, Ay, <laughs> <laughs> ok, cool. Primero Cristina and then Guillermo, right? And then si Marvin no va con ellos, Marvin. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go. Ok, Carlos Rivas. Ok. Ready? Ok. Yes. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Single room, please. Okay, cool. Solo una pequeña observación, Cristina. Eh, eh, en esta parte sería as. Okay? As. Okay. We for future us. practice. Uh -huh. How long are you going to stay with us? Okay. Okay, perfect. For the rest, everything is okay. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos and Cristina. Now, Guillermo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Ken. How can I help you? Uh, hello. I need to make uh, a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you to you both, guys. Perfect. Now, Marvin, who were you with? With Marisa. Okay, let's go. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Uh, of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Marvin and Maritza. Now, uh, Katia. Okay. I don't know. Teresa or con Okay, let's do something. First, start with Yvonne, luego Yvonne okay. va a practicar con Teresa, luego Teresa va a terminar con usted, ¿ok? Ok. Like a circle, ok, let's go. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, and Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. 
Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star for the this is, this is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 40. 40. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to, start to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Y hoy voy con Rosa Liberta. Exactly. Uh, no, Katy. No, Katy. Uh, perdón, Katy. Uh, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jan. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay on Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you, ladies. Yes, yes. Did it excellent. Now, guys, is someone that is missing? Hay algún grupo que me falte? Que me ha pasado? No? Okay. Perfect. Uh, vamos a ver. The agent. Who's the agent? It's Jen. 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 Okay. Perfect. Who's the guest? Uh, Gerardo. Gerardo Gomez. Okay. Cool. When did he uh, did the check-in? On Friday. Friday of Friday 14th. Perfect. Perfect. Now, in the checkout. It's on Monday. Mm, Monday, 17. Very good. Single or double room? Single. Single, single room. Okay, excellent. Very good, guys. Now, let's jump into here, what it really matters over here. All right. Uh, Guillermo, can you please help me out with number two? Yes. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Give me one second. I need to make this a little bit longer. All right. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Are you going to make the reservation for the conference room? Good guys, if you got it like this, it means it is correct, okay? Nice, now, Katia, can you please help me out reading number three? Number three? Yes. Number two. Number three. Three. I'm sorry. I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Okay, if you got it like this, guys, it is correct. Very good. Katia, tell me one name. Deme un nombre de sus compañeros. Marvin. Okay, cool. Marvin, read number uh, number four. Four. Okay, Miss Turcios is going to chat up tomorrow. M Mrs. Turcios is going to chat up tomorrow. Okay, guys, if you got it like this, yeah, it is correct. Thank you. Marvin, choose one person to help me out with number five. Uh, 
Cristina. Ok, Cristina. Ok. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10. The maintenance team is going to attend no, uh -huh, attend a conference on October. Give me one second. No, menos una. Permítame que me acabo de comer. Ahí, <laughs> ahí. It's going to attend a conference on October 10. 10. Okay, very good. Yeah, if you got it like this, this is the best way to do it. Perfect. Cristina, tell me okay. one name of your classmates to help me out with the last one. Yes. Um, Rosalie. Okay, cool. Rosalie. Miss Diaz. Okay, Mrs. Diaz. Is going to. Oops, Miss Diaz. Miss Diaz. Okay. Is going to need. Mm -hmm. Non smoking room. Eh, ah, no, a non smoking room. Very good. If you got it like this, it means it is correct. Perfect, guys. All right. Before we go, antes de irnos, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con relación al tema de esta noche. Any question, guys, that you probably might have related to this? Everything is okay. Everything is clear. It's okay, teacher. It's okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Recuerden, right? Continuar con lo de las tareas. All right. If you have any question with that, ahí vamos a estar siempre en el, en el grupo, okay? Uh, like trying to, to, to solve any issue that you might have, guys. All right. So I'll go and pass the attendance list just to finish up with the class, okay? Good. So let's say Adi Beatriz. I don't know if Eddie was connected. Oh, yeah, she's there. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Cool. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carlos Antonio. All right. So he's there, but uh, I think he got issues with the internet. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Nice. Claudia Marcela. Okay, so she's not here. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, Evelyn Karina. Evelyn se conectó. Mm, Marcela Nalvin. Creo que no. Okay, Graciela Saraí. Ah, yeah, Graciela sí está. Good. Ah, y Guillermo Eduardo. Present. All right, Irma del Tránsito. Irma, Irma, Irma. I guess she got connected as well. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. All right, Juan Carlos. All right, so Juan, oh yeah, he's there, but he's working. Katia Maria. Present teacher. All right, Kenia Maricela. I have a Kenya as a listener right now. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Maritza, have we had the 10 minutes feedback with you? Yes, on Friday. Friday, right? Okay, cool. Yes. It was with you. All right, perfect. Marvin Alexander. Present. Marvin, can we stay with the 10 minutes feedback tonight? Uh, yes. All right, cool. Uh, me espera un momento entonces después de clase, ¿ok? Nice. Uh, Pedro Rigoberto. ¿Es Pedro el que ha conectado? Creo que no. Uh, Rosalie Ivonne. Present. All right. Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. And we got the last one. Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Oh, good.
Guys, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a wonderful night and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, guys. See okay. you. Good night. See you. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. Bye-bye. Teacher, ahí le mandé un mensajito. Ah, all right. Let me see. Okay, perfect. I appreciate that, Cristina. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Right, bye bye. All right. So everybody's just getting connected. So I'm just going to stay with Marvin. Give me one second. Marvin. One second. Last night, two. The waiting room. All right, perfect. Uh, este par de minutos, Marvin, es igual para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación ya sea a esta clase, clases anteriores, something related to the platform, right? So if you got questions or doubt, este es como el mejor momento para poderlo pues, aclarar cualquier duda que pueda tener. So, I don't know, Marvin. Yes, uh, Después de la clase. Uh -huh. Lo que sí, teacher, quizás sí me podría recomendar algo. Eh, a mí se me dificulta el, el listener. No, no lo sí, va. El listener. Eh, el escuchado. Ajá. Entonces, no sé qué me podría recomendar. ¿Usted no es muy fan de ver eh, cosas en inglés? TVs, no. series, movies. Mm -hmm. La verdad sí, lo tenéis, pero todo en español. Uh -huh. That's the issue. Yeah, I mean, eso sería una gran ayuda también el poder cambiar, um, digamos, por lo menos de vez en cuando, el tener el, 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 el hábito de, de ver algo, pero en, en inglés, right? Ya sea una serie, ya sea algo, right? Related to that, it would be more than perfect. Igual en... No sé si usted es muy fan de ver videos sobre cosas, sobre ciencia, cosas así. Sí, de documentales. O... Sí, podría sí. decir documentales. Sí. Right. Ah, mire, en internet hay una página que ayuda mucho bastante a la, a la práctica también. Se llama TED, la idea. Right. Y es esta página, mire. Dice TED Ideas Worth Spreading. Si usted se va a esta página, right, usted lo que va a encontrar acá son como discursos sobre temas específicos. Aquí hay temas relacionados a ciencia, relacionados a tecnología, right, eh, cosas emocionales en all those things. Aquí hay como podcast, all right, y un montón de cosas más, all right. ¿Qué es lo interesante de este tipo de, de plataforma? Vamos. TED Talks. Si escogemos un tema, aquí hay infinidad de temas, ¿vale? de cualquier índole, right. Vaya, si, te, 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 te. Va, por ejemplo, este, mire, dice, Three ways your money can fight clim climate change. Tres maneras en que tu dinero puede luchar contra el cambio climático. That's a little bit weird, pero bueno, lo vamos a poner de ejemplo. Le damos clic over here. Cool. Y le va a aparecer acá, básicamente, right, the, the video and everything. Uh -huh. eh, es un talk de 11 minutos, right. Va. ¿Qué es lo interesante de esto? Lo interesante es que usted le puede dar a play, right. We give a play on it. Y comienza, okay. right? I'll give it to you straight. We need. Pero usted dice, oh, pero ¿qué pasa acá? Yo estoy así como que, ah, no entiendo, right? I don't understand. Va, miren. Si usted es de los que no entiende nada ni una palabra a lo que la persona va diciendo ahí, pero a ver, ¿qué va diciendo? Aquí hay una partecita que dice read transcript. Si le damos clic acá, a usted acá le va a aparecer 
todo el texto que ella va diciendo. Mm. Y no solo eso, le va a subrayando, por así decirlo, o enmarcándole o realzando por dónde ella va. Uh -huh. Así, entonces, a nosotros se nos suele hacer un poco más sencillo. En algunos aquí, aparte del inglés, trae español, pero creo que este solo es inglés. Sí, este solo es inglés. Right. Pero aquí básicamente usted, inclusive pues, si no conoce alguna palabra, pues eh, se busca así como en el diccionario y todo eso. Pero acá la idea, eh, digamos, de este tipo de plataformas es que nos ayudan a, a, a digamos, a listening, la parte de listening. Right. Porque aquí usted puede ir leyendo, pero a la misma vez escuchando lo que ella va diciendo. Right. For example, look at this. Need at least Mira. four trillion dollars per year by 2030 to avert a climate crisis. And right now, that money simply isn't climate crisis. Climate climate crisis. Climate crisis. And right now, everyone who I talk to, look. and I work with some of the mm -hmm. leading ones around the world, they get what needs to be done. They're aware of the climate risks and their climate, climate crisis. And right now, that money simply is. Okay, básicamente aquí, lo que va haciendo es que le va diciendo todo, 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 todo. Y aquí está todo seccionado. You see? Básicamente. Uh, right. Right. It's, it's, it's a way. Digamos que esto es como un modo de práctica para nuestro oído. ¿Por qué? Porque básicamente nosotros, over here, lo que vamos haciendo es ir escuchando y a la misma vez tener la oportunidad de ir leyendo prácticamente lo que va diciendo, right? So if you can hear, supongamos que va en esta parte acá, listen up. Sultan Ibrahim Lodi is about to face off against a prince from Central Asia, Zahiruddin Mohammed the Babur. To quash the threat, the Sultan brings his war elephants to battle, but it's said that the explosions of Babur's cannons and muskets startled the elephants and they trampled the Sultan's own army. Babur had long harbored ambitions of building his own empire. Si se fija, ahí va, poco a poco le va, le va, le va enmarcando ahí por dónde va la lectura. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Ah, mira, inclusive este tiene varios idiomas acá. No, Entonces, like, <laughs> in Spanish and Portuguese. All right, but the idea here is like, that you can practice, right? La idea aquí okay. es de poder practicar un poco más el listening, Right? Y así irnos acostumbrando más que todo al, a la forma de pronunciación, de entonación que, digamos, va, van teniendo. Right? No sé si ahí como que eso nos ayuda bastante a, a retener bastante. Es algo que Ok. Right? No, pues sí, solo eso sería dicho. Gracias ah, ahí por, por el no, consejo. No, no problem. Right? Good. So if you don't have any other questions, eh, con lo de las tareas vamos bien, va. Right in the plan. Sí. Entonces yo voy al día. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Entonces. Okay. Right, that's cool, man. If you don't have any other question, entonces sí nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.